guys, welcome back to the Happiness Company. I am Avni, and we are reviewing Trillion Dollar Coach, and we are talking about all the ideologies, uh, principles of Bill Campbell, and how it shaped the major business leaders of Silicon Valley companies. Um, in this video, we're going to be discussing how biases and stereotypes are supposed to be uh, taken off the table if you want to have a proper decision making or proper meetings in the boardroom. Bias can prevent top talent from getting a hearing. That's why it's important to bring everyone on the table. Bill was the greatest champion of bringing more women to the boardroom table. Bill started his career as a football coach. So during his journey, he realized that winning was all about selecting the best players on the team. In the boardroom meeting, it was putting more women on the table. And he wasn't wrong. Take the study published in Journal Science magazine in 2010, for example, which measured the collective intelligence of the teams. Why, the authors asked, were some teams smarter than the other teams? They narrowed it down to three factors. First, higher IQ teams allowed everyone to participate in the team and everyone's voices were heard, which means one or two voices, voices did not dominate the whole meeting. Secondly, the more uh, smart teams, the smarter teams represented greater emotional intelligence. And third, they had more women. Unfortunately, there's a lot more work to be done before women uh, achieve equal representation in business. Just like Sheryl Sandberg, the CEO of Facebook, has been talking about in a lot of her talks. I recently uh, listened to one of her TED Talks in which she was telling how women, even with equal caliber, are not able to come up uh, properly because one, um, they are not that agreeable, two, uh, they're always scared and less confident about themselves because from the beginning they haven't been given that kind of recognition. Obviously, we have got a lot of examples, the YouTube CEO and many other uh, women leaders who are changing the way people look at women and all the stereotypes are shaping itself up. But somewhere we know, even in the UK, uh, among the top 100 companies, only seven are being run by women. So we somewhere know that these stereotypes uh, will not leave us while uh, we are making a decision. So. Women uh, tend to be more organized, more managed, uh, they tend to have more empathy towards uh, other people. All of these things you could actually utilize while you're having a meeting or having a board, uh, boardroom discussion about a new product, a new idea, a new business strategy, anything. Uh, it's always good to have more women on the table also because it increases the collective emotional intelligence of the place and people become more considerable. Um, I know uh, there are so many reasons for why women are not ruling the world. There are so many factors, so many controversies, uh, so many psychological explanations for it. But what you need to do is let go of stereotypes and look at people through an unbiased lens and choose the right people to come on the table and you are sorted. So what can today's business leaders do? Uh, Bill favored this whole idea of mentoring programs. Successful women uh, leaders mentoring other women or something similar. It is not about empowering a particular gender. It is about creating a team with diversity, with ideas, with all sorts of emotional, uh, intellectual in intellectual elements that can actually shape the meetings, the ideas into something else. And it is true that women tend to be more managerial, uh, they tend to be more empathetic, they tend to think of more uh, ground toward things than uh, men do at this particular uh, level or point. And, uh, it's very much important that we have all kinds of diverse elements uh, in, in place, right? So go out there, build a team, 
build a great team have an unbiased lens towards everything maybe there are women in your team who do not qualify as good candidates to be called for a meeting or to be taken out uh, for a, a pr strategy program or something of that sort um, you don't have to worry about uh, choosing again if you start looking at women with that biased lens you would want to uh, forgive their mistakes or something of that sort it's a very arguable debate actually very controversial all you have to do is be unbiased and uh, focus on empowering your team empowering the members as much as you can and be a little more empathetic understand people and always always keep your focus on bringing top talent upwards even if that means bearing with some uh, uh, people who are not as talented and are not as insightful because we want more from our teams we want to build better teams and we want to win the world and so do you so just go out there and do it in our next video we are going to be discussing more of such principles that bill campbell uh, used to coach uh, the leading businessmen thank you and stay tuned